Yo, what is good, YouTube? Welcome back to another JC2K video. In today's video, we're doing gameplay with the brand new Galaxy Opal Paulo Bancaro. Paulo is the card that everybody gets for buying the Pro Pass here in NBA 2K24, my team. I believe the Pro Pass is the best value thing you can buy in my team pretty easily. So if you're going to spend any money on the game, that is the thing that I would spend it on right now, personally, in my opinion. So before we hop into the video, if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Help me push towards the 25,000 subscriber mark on the channel. I upload every single day. Tons of consistent daily my team content. Would really appreciate it if y'all do subscribe. Without further ado, let's hop right into it and let's start off um, with, first of all, 6'10 at power forward or small forward. He's got great size. 99 offense and defense. 97 driving layup. 97 close shot. 95 mid range. 94 three ball. 88 free throw. 95 standing. 97 driving dunk. 88 ball handle. 85 pass sack. 92 block perimeter and interior. 89 steal. 95 rebounding. 95 speed. 94 speed of ball. 92 excel. 98 vert, 94 strength, 97 stamina, and 92 lateral quickness. Great all-around stats. 27 offs include fast twitch poster as a rise up, agent three catch and shoot, dead eye limitless range, anchor clamps, glove post, lockdown, pogo stick, rebound chaser, precision dunker, whistle, open looks, blow by speed booster, red stick gripper, bulldozer, and a movable enforcer. Gold badges include really pretty much everything else, to be completely honest, which is very, very nice. When you look at the badges he doesn't have, honestly, none of them are particularly important if you want to add space grid or triple strike or something like that. More power to you, I guess, but it in general he's a super complete big 610 small forward who is a really really solid card as a base card can compete with the best small forwards in the game physically and defensively at a very high level which provides a lot of value at the same time his sigs are not very good he doesn't have a good escape his same side has he isn't very good his between the legs burst is decent but in general he's not much of a shot creator at all which means his main role offensively is one of two things catch the ball or catch the ball and dunk it catch the ball and shoot it or catch the ball and dunk it that's all he's really trying to do on offense to be honest we're not really out here trying to do too much with uh, Apollo as a shot creator because he simply does not have the SIGs to be an elite level shot creator. But release on very quick is smooth, straight up and down, easy to green, nice and smooth, quick, easy release. I honestly do think it's pretty solid. So I do believe Apollo is going to be a really good card. And athletically, he's phenomenal. He's like a worse version of Sean Kemp, basically, is how I would describe it. Similar release, similar athletically, similar as a defender, but definitely does not have the same SIGs. Still going to be a solid card. And I think he's a very usable option to small forward position. An elite defender with a lot of size who's super. Super duper athletic and has a very nice release. Not much of a playmaker, but that doesn't matter that much. Let's hop into a game. Let's use Paulo Boncaro. All right, going up against K H X L L A. I, I don't know how to pronounce that name, so I'm not even going to try. But he's got SGA, Kobe, All Star Braun, All Star Giannis, Pink Diamond, Wimby. That's a legit team. I got a great team myself, obviously with Akeem, D Rob, Lonzo, Iggy, and um, Paulo. I have a ton of defense on the court. Five elite level defenders, and Paulo Boncaro is more so a screener, catch and shoot guy, driver than he is a primary ball handler. But oh my lord, that was a tiny green window, and I greened it anyway. Let's freaking go, Paulo Boncaro. Start us off with a great stick duck. I got him guarding Kobe in the corner as well, so got an opportunity to really make some plays defensively in this game. That is a very nice. Nice push pop and this dude clearly has some skills so nice shot there and he hits the pop uh knocks down the three ball there unfortunately um same side burst here iggy attack the rim paulo's open again off the pop and again i think we can blow by hop step through and get a dunk very nice job attacking lebron off the dribble and making lebron look small that's the thing six ten at small forward he can guard a kg a Giannis, a sean kemp the biggest and best small forwards in the game even the really rare ones um now should i do a better job guarding the pop myself probably should do a much better job giving up two easy push pops to start off the game so definitely could start off this game better myself but uh i would love to shoot the ball again between the legs burst here stop pop paulo that's a midi but it's still an open th jump shot and it's knocked down very nice shot paulo attacking off the dribble his best case or best chance to attack off the dribble with the timing burst is definitely his between the legs and we used it effectively there so very nice job there to uh to do a good job creating a shot with mr boncaro guard up here on kobe he is obviously athletically elite and that provides a lot of value oh i'm just late on that though he's pretty switch he can guard an Opal Giannis for sure. No doubt about it. I'm just a little bit late on the X switch there. Uh, I'm going to try to go downhill here with a pick and roll instead of a pick and pop. I've pick and popped all game. Um, and okay, he's starting to sweat. Uh, bro, I just got... Thank you for calling a blocking foul. I thought they called out a bounce there. I was going to be annoyed if I got shoved out of bounds. This dude's definitely a sweat, though, and I don't have a ton of shot creation in my lineup, to be honest, which kind of is my fault with the cards that I'm using right now. I should look. You have a better better shot creator at the point guard position out here, but um, reject the screen. I just wish he could shot. Good freaking hop, step, and dunk. I mean, he's playing well. I just wish he had a better same side burst and a better escape. If he had those two things, I'd be much higher on this card. If they gave him a decent escape and a decent same side burst. 
that's really all he needs to really be like truly close to at, at very minimum close to top tier at the small forward position if not truly top tier but this dude i'm playing is a good player and he's making plays good job to him for sure got to give him credit and he's doing a very nice job so deserves credit for that quick slip again very nice paulo Boncaro is just showing off the athleticism and the size the value that he does give you is his size and athleticism and he's showing that off here now if he could continue to play good defense i mean he has done a good job on kobe in this game can we get a chase down oh no we cannot good stick dunk this dude knows what he's doing and we're struggling defensively a little bit i don't have great shot creation offensively that's what i'm really worried about is that i'm i'm not getting any stops but i'm not sure i'm gonna be able to score all game like this because i just don't trust him as a shot creator enough i don't think sigs are just not good enough man he can't put the ball on the floor besides his burst like his only burst is but he's between the legs burst but he's 610 he dunks the crap out of the ball so that's what he's doing at a high level right now and he's doing a great job of it now Gonna have to keep defending. We're not doing a great job of actually getting many stops yet, but good job going under that screen there. We played that better. I don't want you jumping, Akeem, but that's okay. We're still in front. This dude's not a bad offensive player. He's patient and smart, and he's doing the right thing. Um, but if we could just get one stop, we got it too. And we got the board. Let's go. Throw it up to D-Rob. D-Rob over to Paulo. Hopefully cut behind. Standing dunk again. Paulo Boncaro dunks everything that might be i mean that's his best value so i'm glad we're doing what he does well we're attacking in the area where he can thrive but he really does dunk everything great defense akeem as well play the corner i overran the corner that's all right though we can play it we're good x switch this play the pop um that's fine we'll recover we're good good defense help down wall up that's out of bounds beautiful defense that is much much better defense last couple possessions and paulo Boncaro offensively as a slasher really my opponent just has no answers right now to be honest he's getting inside and getting dunks every single play now because we've been ducking the ball so well, now he's going to start to expect the slip. And now he might help off the pop. That's what I'm hoping for. And he did. Did I green it? I did. Let's freaking go. Paulo Boncaro is having an exceptional ball game, finding a way to be super impactful without grape sigs. And he's doing an amazing job of it, to be completely honest. I actually switched that a tiny bit late. Wasn't able to cut that off as well as I would have liked to with Akeem, but it is what it is. Um, three point game, minute 15 left. Going right back to the quick slip here, honestly. Um, push, pop him open for three again. Catch, shoot. Oh, I finally missed one. Dang it. That's tough because that was such a good shot too. Um, step up on Braun. Good freaking D. Throw it up. Paulo Boncaro. Between the legs burst. Attack downhill. Get to the rim. Paulo, chill. Reset. We're good. We're, we're good. We're going to reset this. Our spacing is really poor, but Paulo... I need to space the floor out, and we just need to find something open. This has not been a good possession so far. Um, we're going to have same, same side burst. I triggered it properly. Get to the rim. Come on, Paulo. Draw foul. Oh, my goodness. He somehow stripped me, and I fouled him. Oh, that's a waste because now he gets two free throws. Did not mean to do that. This dude's a sweat, man. Kind of disappointed about that possession. I freaking... Got kind of a lane, but I just, I don't know. I'm forcing it a little bit. I should have just taken the mid range when it was wide open with Lonzo. I'm really trying to force it the guy who's not a primary ball handler. And that's a bad decision. Got, I, I'm, I'm playing in a way that I wouldn't really recommend playing with Paulo Boncaro, by the way, is what I will say. So even if I wind up winning this game, I, I'm trying to do things with him that isn't really his skill set. I just got so lucky. I'm not even going to lie. I just got so lucky. That was bad. I just made a heavy layup. I got slashing take, but that was so lucky. I'm not going to lie. I will take it, though. Paulo Boncaro, by the way, has made LeBron look like a bad defensive small forward and a small small forward as well, which is crazy. Not many cards make LeBron look small, but missing that free throw was tough. 18 seconds left, though. We're in a we're in an okay spot if we can just... Okay, well, Lonzo's going to be the free throw shooter. I was just going to be patient there. I would have liked to see the free throws be shot by Paulo, but Lonzo at the free throw line does have a good free throw release. Should knock both of these down, hopefully. 93% of the first. Second one is also up and in, and... 18 seconds left, three-point lead. Time to step up and defend. Um, get through the screen. We're good. Play the pop. Yep, watch the back door. Honestly, I'm not that concerned about the back door. We're playing really high. X switch the screen. Contest. Click on. If he... You know? I don't know what to say about that one. That is just a crazy shot. Honestly, five, four, three. Pass it in. Akeem. Oh, he got blocked. No way he got blocked. Oh, my goodness. I should have called the timeout to advance the ball. That is such a good shot by him. I'm not even going to hate. He hit a crazy shot, and he deserves credit for it. Very, very impressive job. Um, yeah, I don't know. That's really disappointing, though. I'm not going to lie. That one, that one hurts that I just gave up a three there. This game should be over right now. If I can win the tip and get a bucket with Paulo, we can win this game right here. Win the tip, please. Beautiful. Now, Paulo, cut to the basket for me. Get there. Come on, Paulo. Paulo, oh my god, I, he didn't go up, he didn't go up, he did not go up, oh, slip, okay, post up, okay, did he just foul, what, I'm so confused, what just happened, 
How did he just stop the clock? What just happened? Oh, I thought a foul would give me free throws. He did foul, but it didn't pop up the menu for some reason that he fouled. Um, Paulo, set a pick and roll. We're going to slip the screen, and we might throw the pop. We are going to throw the pop. Paulo's going to pump fake. Here we go. We got to attack this. Paulo, and he's just gas. Dang it, man. Gosh, dang it. He couldn't get the freaking post fan. I was trying to drop step, but I couldn't get the positioning that I wanted. We're going to wind up losing this game, I think. And there you go. You see Paulo's one flaw. The lack of playmaking is not an elite level thing, and that's really annoying. Great defense, though. He's playing really well, and that was great defense. I was in great defensive position. This dude got a little lucky, but he played well at the same time. 19 points, 9 of 11, 1 of 2 from 3. Paulo did a great job. That guy was not a terrible player. I don't think I lose that game if I'm not doing a game with Paulo, but it is what it is. And I thought we played quite well. Showcased quite an ability to score the ball and especially to dunk the ball at a high level. Just really disappointed that I missed that one open three ball and wasn't quite able to execute. He didn't go up at the end, though. He would have had a dunk in overtime. He just didn't go up. I don't know what happened there. That doesn't make sense. Really frustrating way. The, really frustrating way. Sorry to end this gameplay, but it is what it is. Paulo's a great card. One of the best free cards in the game, especially at the small forward position. So I think he's a stud. So, uh, hope y'all did enjoy the video. If you did, make sure you hit that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe. I'll be back with more 2K content very, very soon, and I appreciate y'all. Peace.